So hello everyone. So today we are going to start another topic for our physics 82 lecture which is the mo module 4 I think. So it's all about capacitors and dielectrics. So basically this is like a continuation of your electric potential kasi it uh, mauni siya ang application how to apply the uh, what you have learned in electric potential and electric field to to certain electrical components like capacitors so capacitors are very important especially in electrical like appliances okay mga radyo na siya sa radyo na ana siya sa TV na ana siya sa atong cellphone so anywhere tong capacitor so uh, essentially sila ang mga essential na nag uh, murag sila ang murag uh, essential components ato mga circuit karon that actually nga naka kwansa ato nakahatag og convenience and uh, our life become comfortable because of that uh, kanang circuit elements so there are many actually circuit elements like resistors uh, diodes transistors and capacitors so these are the basic lang na mga uh, circuit element okay but of course uh, we will just first tackle about capacitors okay so this is the outline of our lecture for today so we have definition of capacitance so what is really a capacitance then we have a, a type of capacitor which is a very uh, usually na makita na to in physics lecture videos uh, parallel plate capacitors then we also have the different combination of capacitors so we have to find the equivalent capacitance if the capacitors are combined in series connection or in parallel connection and so on then we also have to to kanang uh, know the properties of capacitors nga naay the electrics okay so essentially yung first natin na three topics are mga capacitors na without the electric so kung without that is uh, approximately wala siyang sulod sa sulod diba sa ilang uh, between the plates you already knew that because uh, that is our experiment number two so if you are in my experiment nga if you are in my laboratory nga class so what is really a capacitance so what uh unsa man iyahang kwan unsa man iyahang function unsa iyang property uh, unsay naka nakahatag uh, unsay definition sa uh, what really made sense about capacitance what is capacitance really so first we have to consider two conductors so for example na tay two conductors here now we know uh, that carries equal charges equal magnitude but of opposite signs so if you have that like uh, that kind of arrangement of two conductors that is actually called a capacitor okay so uh, so the quantity of charge on each of the conductors as you can see here is actually linearly uh, proportional to the potential difference so meaning that they are directly proportional and the proportionality constant of the of these two two kanang uh, quantity is actually called the capacitance so capacitance is actually the a constant constant na siyang value all throughout the uh, uh, for a specific capacitor okay so it will not change all throughout the uh, its operation but it is constant so what's really changing here is actually the q and v lang okay to maintain the uh, constant sa imuhang capacitance okay so think of capacitance as like a container diba so a container we cannot actually uh, kanang change the volume of a container because that is fixed naman yung volume a container yun siya diba so yun ang capacitance so uh, the quantity of charge and the potential difference is actually ang musulod sa imuhang container so sila ang mag uh, mag vary or sa sila ang mag uh, mag kanang mag-change to maintain the uh, constant nga capacitance. Okay? So, generally kasi yung capacitance natin is dependent on the shape of the uh, conductors or even the geometry of the conductors. So, kung parallel plate ba siya, kung spherical ba siya, kung cylindrical ba siya, and so on. Okay? 
So basically depend uh, dependent yung capacitance natin generally on the geometry of our conductors. Okay? So the equation that can be uh, that can be found from this two kanang uh, relationship the Q and the V so it is, that is equal to Q is equal to C delta V so ang Q here the quantity of charge is actually the magnitude lang sa uh, sa one of the conductors okay since equal naman sila magnitude so it doesn't matter okay so magnitude lang siya ng uh, one of the conductors so your Q is actually equal to C delta V and your C here is a capacitance which is equal to Q over delta B. So, yung capacitance natin is defined as the ratio of the magnitude of the charge, and of what I said, on either conductor to the magnitude of the potential difference between the conductors. Okay, so the potential difference silang duha. Okay, so take note that the capacitance is always positive. Okay. So yeah, the uh, capacitance is really positive because again your Q is dependent uh, only on the magnitude of one on either of the charge of the conductor, di ba? That kanang uh, arrange sa imuhang capacitors. Now the potential difference actually increases linearly with stored charge. So this means that this cannot be like... Uh, becomes a negative nga value, di ba? Because it will increase also with uh, the stored charges, di ba? So, the ratio na capacitance, which is Q over delta B, is constant for any given capacitor. Okay? So, kung makita mong capacitor, tapos ang iyahang capacitance is kanin, mo na ginay ang capacitance. Okay? It will not change anymore. But, uh, the what matters the most is the Q and delta V that can change the Capacitance, but the capacitance is only dependent on the geometry of the conductors that involves in the uh, capacitor that made the capacitors. Okay? So, capacitance is also a measure of a capacitor's ability to store charges. So, store charges, it doesn't mean nga kanang charges, that is actually the imbalance of charges. Okay? Because uh, I will just say it to, uh, to you later nga nung uh, delicious store charges. So, some of the uh, kanang books kasi kanang mo na ilang definition sa capacitance nga to store charges which is uh, half correct pero partially correct siya. Pero, to specify this one, uh, since yung conductor mo is composed of charges because we already knew that but it is actually the imbalance of charges. Mo na makastore siya o charge okay and this charge actually corresponds to the uh, it will kanang make its own electric field and then this electric field will actually be the one who will dictate what is the potential energy uh, or the energy stored in the capacitor so yung capacitance natin is a measure of a capacitor's ability to store imbalance charges and to store energy also from that imbalance of charges. Diba? So, yung SI unit of capacitance natin is farad. So, where 1 farad is actually equal to 1 coulomb per uh, volt. Kasi yung capacitance natin has a relationship like this one. So, ano yung SI unit ng Q? That is coulomb. And ang SI unit natin ng potential difference or the voltage is volts which is denoted by capital letter V. So, yung uh, typical value ng mga physical capacitors natin na uh, atong makita good sa market is uh, the microfarad to picofarad lang because ang usa na nag-ikafarad is very very large na, na capacitor. Okay? Na, na, I mean, na capacitance. Okay? So, ang 1 farad. So, usually, so makita na to sa mga electronic market that the makita na mga capacitors nga na ay capacitance ranging from microfarad to picofarad. Okay? So, how do uh, capacitors cooperate? Ay, cooperate? How do capacitors operate? Okay, sorry. Uh, how? Okay, so, nga nung makastore man silag imbalance charges, nga nung makamake man silag its own electric field from the uh, fact nga, uh, yeah, nga nung makamake man silag own electric field, tapos nga nung makastore man sila uh, energy at the same time. Okay? 
So, consider a capacitor formed by a parallel plate. So, diba? Uh, usually, mo ginawang example sa ito ang uh, books. A parallel plate of capacitor. Okay, so, you have this one. Then, each plate is connected to the terminals of the battery. So, kanisha, this plate is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And this plate is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Now, what will happen is this one. Okay, since imo man siyang gi-connect sa battery, so this battery will actually create an electric field that uh, sinks all of the all of the all of the uh, electron here is sink niya kay kon man niya murag iya hang i-attract because it's the positive terminal diba so you have to think of in ana lang then kato mga positive nga na dire ni uh, this plate na connected to, ne to negative terminal iya pong suyo pun to mga positive no part okay so that is actually the uh, electric field that is uh, moving the charges from the plate to the battery diba so basically yung uh, while doing that you know kanang in the process of uh, kanang sinking all of the here negative charges and sinking all of the positive charges here so the capacitor i mean the part uh, the plate na nagmade o capacitor will actually be uh, in the end na na siya kanang uh, murag on the process bitaw okay na na siya kanang uh, kanang net charge okay net charge where the net charge of this one is positive q and the net charge of the other one is negative q okay so this process will continue until the equilibrium is attained so meaning that uh delete na makaya ni battery ug sigig suyup suyup because uh, na maintain naman ang potential difference sa wire sa plate and even sa battery so remember that uh, the equilibrium pasabot ani is na anay same potential difference of all uh, of the circuit uh, of the elements in the circuit so if they attained a um, uh, constant potential difference with each other then there is no uh, kanang murag uh, kanang charging process okay wala na kanang murag musuyo musink sa mga electrons or katong mga uh, charges here okay ay because nag maintain naman sila potential difference okay so yeah maunang equilibrium na pasabot so that's how the capacitor works so as you can see na imbalance of charges so that's why yung net charge on the this plate is positive q yung net charge on this plate is negative q okay so actually kani siya musuyo po ni ang mga negative kani kaiyahang ipang repel ang mga negative okay so until nga na ay mag na ay magbutang ay na ay magkuan din ng mga negative na mga charges which is the electron so basically yung electron naman gid ang mo move di ba because the positive nga nucleus is uh, just like what I said sa module 1 di mo gid siya mo move because uh, nucleo naman siya sa nucleus so ang free regid nga particle nga mo move in an atom is actually the electron so we have to uh, kind of interpret the flow of charges uh, using our electron kasi mas uh, mas kanang kan siya mas alindot uh, siya uh, kanang dali siya ma visualize okay so here negative q here so mo nang ipang repel niya ang mga charges so wire until nga such time nga all of the electrons from the wire will you know some of them will uh, will reside on this plate and that is why the net charge of this uh, plate is negative q okay so that's how capacitors work so this is a very basic na kanang kwa na capacitor na kanang a form of a capacitor so there are many types of capacitor but this is one is a very like uh, although basic pero kan siya kanang mas dali siya mas abdan to visualize uh, how do capacitor work okay how do capacitor store charges okay so again just like what I said yung capacitance mo of a capacitor is actually constant so Therefore, yung, for example, if meron akong 4 picofarad, okay, so just look at I said, diba, micro to picofarad yung uh, usually na mga available na capacitor in our, you know, electrical na mga market. So, a 4 picofarad capacitor can store 4 picofarad of charges for, any, for every 1 volt. 
Okay, so muna pasabot niya. For every 1 volt, makastore siya og 4 pico column of charges. Amount of charges. So, if you connect this capacitor to 9 volt battery, okay, since 4 pico parad mani ang capacitance, so what will happen is, na siya 36 pico parad na mas store niya uh, throughout the throughout the process until such time nga nga ma-maintain na niya ang constant potential difference okay so this means na 36 pico farad this means that negative 36 pico farad for the negative plate and positive 36 pico farad for for the positive plate so this is like a ratio nga mga kwan di ba so Diba ang 4 pico farad para masabtan ng ninyo is na siya ay uh, makastore siya og 4 pico uh, column per volt. Okay, so if na akay 9 volt nga battery, so therefore you just have to multiply this one to 9 volt para makuha ni mo ang uh, number of charges na ma store ni capacitor. So again, the capacitor will not uh, change. This will only change if uh, lahi na yung geometry. Okay? So, as you can see, yung, bat, uh, yung, uh, call, yung charge lang at yung battery ang mag-change sa iya para ma-maintain ang 4 pico farad na capacitor. Ay, capacitance of a capacitor. Okay? Okay, so that's the, that's the uh, kanang idea of capacitance. Okay? So, Okay, so next part of our capacitor, which is the parallel plate capacitor. So we already discussed this one, but I will dig in deeper on uh, how to kanang get the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. So a parallel plate capacitor is generally consists of two parallel conducting plates gana I same area and separated by a distance T. So when the capacitor is charged, so what will happen if you connect the uh, one of the plate to the terminals of the battery, so it will carry equal amounts of charges. So just like what we did here, so they carry equal amounts of charges and one plate carries a positive and the other one carries a negative charge. Okay, so katong, katong plate nga connected sa positive, moto ang mo positive na charge. Okay? Katong plate nga connected sa negative, mato ang mo negative na charge. Okay? So, muna siya ang pasabot ani nga uh, statement. So, I will not dwell to this but I have to uh, just, you know, take a look at of the uh, electric field na uh, kanang diagram or sketch of the uh, parallel plate capacitor. So, as you can see here, yung capacitors mo in parallel plate uh Diba? So, the, uh, the electric field lines will point from positive to negative. So, yung electric field mo here between sa positive Q at saka negative Q are generally constant. Diba? Uniform, uniform man ang ilahang direction. So, we can approximate them na constant sila. So, kaning naasa edge of the parallel plate capacitor are called fringing. Muni ang fringing of fields. These are actually when the capacity, uh, the electric field is not constant anymore. However, we can minimize the fringing here, si kaning fringing diri, if we let the distance between two plates be uh, smaller compare sa area sa imuhang plate. So, murag, di na na tumakita ang fringing because of how the uh, kanang distance sa imuhang parallel plate capacitor is uh, very small. Okay? So, kanisha actually is the uh, kanang gikanisha sa kuan sa kanang experiment. So, kanisha mga kuan is actually a thread. So, some uses also like mga seeds. And then, ang kaning iyahang thread or seeds is suspended in a oil so that they can move freely. So, when applied to a kanang uh, when electric field is applied. So, kanisha is connected to a I think to a battery, to a positive terminal man kahangkan is connected to the negative and they are suspended, uh, they are, they are kanang in like in something like an oil so fluid nila kay oil tapos uh, yeah, so mo nila makita nga kwa an electric field so murag same same lang yapon aning nga uh, nga kanang 
visualization. Okay? So, yeah. I think that's the parallel plate capacitor. And some of the parallel plate capacitor in real nga parallel plate capacitor are usually like this one. They are consist of circle. So, money usually ang makita sa mga laboratory sa physics. So, they are consist of circle. So, the the electric field between this one okay so sa ilang quad are generally constant but of course mo fringe mag siya diha di ba so nam gi fringing because dili man siya uh, gamay o distance okay so the capacitors i mean the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by this one so epsilon sub nat a over d so how can we uh, compute this one how can we kanang derive this one so remember that your capacitance is equal to q over delta v diba so ako sa ngayon ng day so c is equal to q over delta v now remember that uh, the electric field between the uh, capacitor again so between taha kay mo man ni ang nag store og uh, energy dari so which is the very important that is the uh, measuring the ability of the capacitor to store charges so dapat sa between lang ta mag uh, mag focus so here the electric field is actually equal to sigma over epsilon sub nat which we already knew this actually uh, constant okay so yung delta v natin is still e constant but that is equal to e times d constant electric field tapos constant yung uh, distance nila so we can directly put uh, the potential difference as e d okay now also take note that your sigma is actually the surface charge density equal to the total charge so the total charge divided by the total area so we let our area to be a here so we can now put all of them together para ato siyang ibutang sa ato ang uh, expression sa capacitance so we have c is equal to what is q so q is yeah q lang na siya then your delta v is ed but your e is actually sigma over epsilon sub naught but your sigma is actually q over a so we have q over a tapos we have epsilon sub naught so epsilon sub naught di ba tapos meron tayo yung d okay because of the uh, voltage so cancel Q. So what's left is we have epsilon sub nat A over D. So ito yung uh, expression niya. So this means that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is generally again cons uh, dependent only on the geometry and the shape of the capacitor. So if you are dealing with a spherical capacitor, yung capacitance ng capacitor mo or that spherical capacitor is again, lahi siya sa atong parallel plate capacitor okay, kaya lahi naman siyang geometry so, we just have to focus with parallel plate capacitor okay, so makita na to that the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is directly proportional to the area the area of the uh, kanang ato ang capacitor and inversely proportional to the uh, displacement okay did i say i mean okay kung balik ko na so the capacitance is directly proportional to the area but inversely proportional to the distance so how can we interpret this one so let's first tackle about c directly proportional to a so the area so remember that the capacitor is actually uh, the one storing charges. ba? So, kung dako og area ang imuhang capacitor, then meaning, dako po siya og ka ng uh, charges na masulod sa iya ha, ba? Meaning, dako og charges ang mo distribute. Kaya dako man siya og space. Dako man og space ang imuhang capacitor in the first place. So, basically, dako iya hang mas store nga charges. Right? How about for the C inversely proportional to the distance? Okay, so nga mang, uh, when we increase, uh, when we kanang kwanda distance, when we take it a uh, very smaller, 
uh, when we make it smaller, musaka man ang capacitance. So, ano mga ana? So, when you uh, make the displacement very small, what will happen is it will actually change the electric field. Because we know electric field is actually dependent on sa gito, 1 over r squared. Diba? So, meaning r is like the distance between two kanang plates. So, meaning that when when the displacement, uh, when the distance decreases, the electric field increases. So, this increase of electric field will actually increase the potential difference and this potential difference between the plates will now uh, take more charges. Kaya dako naman siya electric field na yung makaya. So, iyahang pang birahon tong mga charges. Okay? So, until ma-maintain na po niya ang potential difference. Okay? So, muna siya. Yeah. So, meaning that the capacitance increases because of that uh, muna ang panghitabo when the uh, when the distance is uh, when the separation distance is actually smaller okay so what is so yeah so generally again the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is proportional to the area of its plates but inversely proportional to the plate separation so just like uh, what we did here so this is actually the main kanang relationship sa capacitance ay muhang parallel plate capacitors. Okay? So, yeah, this is actually uh, kanang kuan lang, kanang murag um, more explanation about how capacitor work. Okay? So, here we have a capacitor uh, composed of a parallel plates. So, they are initially uncharged, meaning that Q is equal to zero, the net charge is equal to zero for both capacitor so we have a switch here, a switch. Then it is connected basically. Uh, this uh, one is connected to negative terminal. And this one is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Now when you close the switch, what will happen is there is a, 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 a electric field. So this uh, battery will can make an electric field to the wire. So this will move the electron from the this plate, bumove siya paana dali okay, so yung isink ang, yeah, ang mga negative na mga charges from this plate and kani siya so iyaha pong i kwaon po ang uh, ang mga electrons sa wire maad to siya dad sa imuhang this one okay so that is why yung net charge mo for the process for this plate is negative and the net charge of this plate uh, dur uh, during the final process is positive. Okay? So due to this imbalance of charges, we can create our own, uh, the plates will create now its own electric field. Okay? So we have here electric field between plates and the electric field is actually constant. Okay, uh, equal to delta V over D, sigma over epsilon sub naught. Yeah, I think that's the... Okay, so it's like a kuan lang, kanang... Uh, it's like uh, kanang kuan lang ani, where uh, a good visualization or continuation sa ato ang uh, how capacitor operate. Okay, so I think we're done with parallel plate capacitor. So now we, let's discuss about the combination of capacitors so we have two kinds of combination of capacitors or you can say three but mainly there are two so we have a parallel combination at saka series combination so what will happen to the capacitance of two capacitors or two or more capacitors if ato siyang i, I combine into series or parallel so what will happen so, suppose I have two capacitors. So, we have C1 and C2. So, uh, before we uh, we tackle about this uh, kanang topic, is the symbol for capacitor is just two lines. Okay, here. So, the battery is like this one. So, you already knew that the uh, long line is actually the positive 
and the short term is actually the negative. So, na siya yung potential difference nga delta V. So, basically, yung uh, capacitor natin nga symbol is actually not constant all throughout kasi may mga, if you go to like mga electrical na mga engineering na kanang pinakasaas na yung natin mga variable capacitor, natin electrolytic capacitor which are now different uh, from this uh, symbol. Okay? So, let's just kanang kuan lang, kanang uh, basic lang na mga kuan, symbol of our, our capacitors. Okay? So, when the anyway, so let's just uh, continue this one. So, the individual potential difference if you connect two capacitors, so suppose natin two capacitors, C1 and C2, when they are in combination, uh, uh, when, when they are in parallel combination, so the individual potential difference uh, of capacitors are actually equal to the potential difference, delta V. Okay, ano gani? Because they are actually uh, directly connected to the capacitor. Okay, yung battery kasi mo is connected directly to the capacitor. So, basically, they have the same uh, potential difference all throughout. Okay? So, your delta V1, that is the potential difference of your C1, is equal to the potential difference of your uh, C2, and then the potential difference of the battery. Okay? So, now, how about the charge on the parallel plate capacitor? So, how can we find the individual charges on the uh, capacitors? So, uh, when they are in parallel combination, we know na iyahang potential difference are uh, the same. But the total charge on the parallel plate capacitor is actually the sum of the charges of the individual capacitor. So meaning lahi, lahi sila o charges. Meaning that the first capacitor is Q1, na siya charge nga Q1, and the capacitor Q2 is na, uh, na siya charge nga, and the capacitor C2 na siya charge nga Q2. Okay? So think think of it as like, a current, diba sa current na to kay kung na siya junction kay mo split mangi siya so think of it as like that okay so although di siya current <laughs> pero yeah so yeah I think so we have this one the sum of the charges Q1 and Q2 now if we have to take note about the like what is the sign of this plate what is the sign of this plate so you only have to take note na ano yung uh, what side of the plate that is directly connected to the terminal. So for example, yung positive mo is directly connected to this plate, then therefore automatic this becomes positive. Now if this plate is connected directly to the negative, then automatic it becomes negative. Now okay, since these two are parallel and they are directly connected to the battery, so basically yung, si yung other capacitor mo, will also have the same uh, charges uh, of the other capacitor. Same lang sila ng charges. Okay? So, because of this relationship, we can now get the equivalent capacitance. So, we have to combine them, them to find the equivalent capacitance. So, the delta V is actually equal to, we have here, uh, Q, C, A, Q, di ba? So, this is the equivalent cap. Ah, oh, no, no, no. So, is this correct? No, no, this is not correct. So, wait lang. So, we have Q. I don't know. Yes, sorry, sorry. So, we have C equivalent delta V. Then, we have here the total charge. Diba? Q. Then, the C1 delta V1 is actually equal to Q1. And then, the C2 delta V2 is actually equal to Q2. Now, if we if we can put all of them together sa kanina equation, so we have C E Q delta V is equal to C1 delta V1 plus C2 delta V2. But remember that they're in parallel combination, then delta V is equal to delta V1 is equal to delta V2. So we can... Uh, cancel all of them so that is why we have like this kind of uh, equivalent capacitance or some uh, some 
books also call this one as total capacitance okay so basically yung uh, total capacitance ng parallel combination mo are you just have to add all of them okay so we have here c1 plus c2 but if you have many capacitance a capacitor so you just have to simply add all of them if they are in parallel combination okay so kung how many n cap a capacitor that na asa circuit okay so the total capacitance is greater than the individual capacitance in the combination okay so pasabot lang ani because when you add all of the capacitors together so yeah so obviously yung equivalent capacitance mo is greater than the individual capacitance okay so if you want to maximize the ability of your capacitor or of your two or more capacitors para makastore sila ng uh, charges so imo siyang i-connect into parallel okay so ana lang so how about if na series capacitors so when we have a series combination so ang parallel combination ang equal niya is potential difference pero sa series combination ang equal niya is actually the charges so meaning that when you are in series the total charge of the uh, the circuit or the combination is actually equal to the individual charges so meaning that q is equal to the charge of capacitor 1 and that is equal to the charge of capacitor 2 okay so ano lang siya so uh, since equal man sila og charges so kung ato siyang i i, i compare sa ato ang parallel combination ang iyahang delta v na food or the voltage the total voltage of the series capacitor is actually equal to the sum of the individual capacitors so we just have to sum the individual voltages of uh, capacitors performing in the uh, circuit okay na involving in the circuit so yeah I think that's the the kanang kwan, the comparison between two uh, combination. Now, okay, since we are talking about uh, kanang, uh, what is the sign of the plates when kani connected to kani, so you have to take note. Again, if it connected just sa positive directly, then basically kani siya is positive yung net charge. Now the other one is connected to the uh, negative directly so basically yung net charge na is negative so the what will happen to the negative Q at saka positive Q ni, ni here the other plate so kay since the capacitor uh, the plate of this one is positive Q for the charging process so what will happen is the the positive Q will actually kanang yung kanang I attract to mga negative ba okay so that is why yung mga uh, yung net charge sa the other plate is negative same also for this one yung attract to mga positive so that is why iyahang uh, automatic yung other plate becomes uh, of opposite sign of the other plate okay so how to find the capacitance of the or equivalent capacitance of the of our capacitor so I just have to use this relationship so remember that the equivalent capacitance is actually equal to Q over delta V diba? so we can uh, put this one as delta V is equal to Q over CEQ and then your delta V1 the voltage across C1 is equal to Q1 over C1 and the voltage across a capacitor 2 is actually equal to Q2 over C2. Now, we have to kanang substitute all of these values here para makita ma, ma combine na to, to para makita na itong equivalent capacitance. So, we have here Q over CEQ is equal to Q1 over C1 plus Q2 over C2. So, cancel the Q because they are actually uh, equal so what's left is like this one so you can get the total capacitance of capacitors in series in this uh, formula okay 
So because of this formula, so the total capacitance of a series combination is always less than any of the individual capacitance, okay? So if you want to minimize the capacitor or the capacitance of your two or more capacitors, so you can uh, combine them in series, okay? So yeah, that's it. That's the, ano, the T, okay? Okay, so we are done with parallel plate capacitor and we're also done with uh, a combination of capacitor. So how about if naatay, uh, what is, how can we quantify the energy stored in capacitors? So okay, we are done man with uh, how to quantify the charges stored in capacitors, diba? Kaya naman tayo, C is equal to Q over delta V. So, how can we find or how can we quantify the energy stored in capacitors? So, just like what I said, yung energy stored ng capacitors mo are from the electric field or the electric potential uh, create, uh, create by the imbalance of charges of two plates, di ba? So, unsa may nakimportante aning energy stored in capacitor? So basically yung yung ano niya yung ang pinaka kung ano niya kanang yung application is kanang bitong sa TV makita mo sa TV nga na butang nga warning do not touch any of the components of TV og do not open them ana kay even though nga imong gi turn off ng TV gitangtang na nimo siya sa outlet so the capacitor especially sa kanang mga dagko na mga capacitors so they can actually shock you na siya electric shock because uh, the capacitor are actually uh, mura siya huwag ka na bitawang gusto ko ka ng kuon mura siya nawala, mura siya non-equilibrium ba so what will happen is kay since charge man iyang iyahang two plates so kung imo siyang hikapon you can be like a murag siya, dito siya mag-discharge siya mong lawas. And remember, our body is a very kanang conductive one. So, mo, mo, ado yun sa tuwa din mo, electric shock din ta. Okay? So, mo na siya ang uh, very important na nakita nito sa TV, di ba? Kanang warning na to. So, this is actually the reason nga nung dili ka mo touch sa mga, especially sa mga capacitors na mga components sa TV. Okay? So, how to calculate the I, the energy stored in the capacitor? Okay? So, di ba, ang capacitor mang good is in charging state. So, meaning that first at first, kay uh, uncharged pa siya. So, meaning that the net charge of two plates is equal, are actually equal to zero, are both equal to zero. So, eventually, if you put them, sa, or if you connect them to a source or a voltage source, what will happen is the electric field will create in a wire, di ba? So, sa battery. Now, dili siya ka ng ditsu nga ka ng pag-connect din kayo, na din siya charge nga Q, nga final charge nga Q. Actually, it takes time pa. Okay? Para mo, mo, kaan siya ka ng mo, mo fully charge ang imuhang capacitor. Okay? So, the assume, we assume that the final charge of your capacitor is Q. So, mo ni ang maximum capacity na ma store sa imuhang capacitor nga charge and the voltage is actually the potential difference na ma-maintain sa imuhang capacitor at saka wire at saka ni voltage source thus we have the voltage we have this relationship V is equal to Q over C okay so here we have to let Q and V be the charge and voltage so muda siya instantaneous charge so meaning the charge at that instant instantain instantain sakto ba instantaneous instantaneous charge at saka instantaneous voltage so mura siya og kanang uh, charge at that instant kay nabaw siya sa charging process tiba so nagkuan pang electric field nag sync pa tong negative nga terminal sa battery og mga electrons and so on i mean positive terminal of the battery so so, this Q and V are actually kanang changing and that is with respect to time. Okay? So, when uh, then the voltage, the instantaneous voltage is actually equal to Q over 
uh, capacitance. So the capacitance here is not equal to ngano ganing dili na siya equal to small letter because dili man siya mag-change. They are actually kanang capacitance actually constant, di ba? Assuming that we have the same geometry all throughout. So uh, mo nang ang imong si is capital letter C. Okay? So we have this uh, voltage Q over C. So uh it takes dw or a small work to transfer a small charge from the battery padulong sa imuhang plate diba so mag transfer man jud charges ana so uh from the definition of uh work we know that dw is equal to unsa v dq because asa gani siya gikan work is actually equal to ganito u diba assuming that your electric force is a conservative force so u is actually equal to v q diba so that is why a small amount of work will actually um, transfer siya og small amount of charge here dq kani siya okay so therefore your dw is equal to small letter V, the instantaneous voltage, tsaka yung uh, DQ, a small amount of charge. Now, remember that your V is actually here, QC, Q over C, that is the instantaneous voltage at that time. Okay, so that is the voltage at that time. So, we have Q over C here, then integrate, so because we have to take the total work done. So, we have to integrate, that is equal to Q, D, Q. Where is C? Uh, I forgot C. So, this must not be C. 1 over C. Then, Q, D, Q. Then, we have to uh, integrate from when charge is equal to 0. Katong initially uncharged pa siya. And, katong when charge is fully. I mean, when uh, capacitor is fully charged now with a final charge of Q. So, that is... Q squared over 2, then uh, kanang evaluate the expression, we have Q squared over 2C. Then we can actually get the other form of your uh, work as this one. 1 half CV squared at saka 1 half QV. So you can actually get this one from this relationship C is equal to Q over delta V or say, uh, say Q over V lang. Okay, so we can use that one. So here, uh, and remember that this work is actually equal to the potential energy. So this is actually the energy stored in the capacitor. Okay, so basically yung three expressions mo dito are actually the energy stored in the capacitor or the potential energy in capacitors. Now, these are very familiar, especially this one. So it is like a spring. Diba? So, meron siya katong 1 half kx squared nga form. Diba? Where 1 half is our k is your c, which is const, and your x is equal your v. So, yung k natin sa Hooke's law, this is actually Hooke's law. So, this is actually the spring constant, and this x is the displacement of the spring when you stretch the spring. So, uh, we can, it is very analogous na yung capacitor mo, kaya meron siya og uh, kahawig sa kuan baka ng spring ay yes spring na imong gi, gi binat bitaw and the binat is actually uh, the energy stored sa pag binat is actually equal to 1 half kx squared diba so mula sya ginani katong uh, mula imong gi binat ang duha ka uh, positive and negative na even though kung imo siyang buwian diba kay mo attract mag siya so mula sya imo siyang separate at distance d so, the separation will create a electric field and at the same time, it will store energy. Okay, so ana lang siya. So, when the capacitor discharges, the stored energy is recovered as work done by electrical forces. Then, Q decreases from Q to 0 and potential difference. So, I will show you something para makita ninyo ang... Oh, wait. Para makita ninyo ang kanang kuan. Nawala siya. So, I think nawala. 
So, para makita ninyo ang murag. So, naakoy ko andre simulation para makita ninyo ang murag. So, I will just put this one. So, para makita ninyo. So, we have this one as FET simulation. So, I know that you already know this one. But I will just say how to discharge a capacitor. So, I will just skip to light bulb. So, to discharge a capacitor, uh, pwede ni mo siya ka nang i-connect to other appliances or to other circuit element that will consume those energy or pwede po ni mo siya i-hikap po. Jork, jork. So, ayaw lang hikap pa ang capacitor. Okay, so that is only a joke. So, because you two can... Uh, be like a, kuan, a way of discharging a capacitor diba? or any like charge object okay so assuming that we have a constant separation chaka constant plate area so we have to charge a capacitor so this will increase as you can see look at the uh, the the electron as you can see that the electron will uh, mupunta siya dito then electron here will muwari siya dito Okay, so yun yung, yung connected sa negative is become negative plate. Ang yung connected sa positive will become a positive plate. Okay, so here, makita nato that uh, the potential uh, between plate is actually equal to 1.5. Kasi dapat ma-maintain niya ang uh, using the voltmeter. So we can see that the voltage is 1.5. Kasi na-maintain na niya ang uh, potential difference. So even though dili ka siya kanang ha kanang kuano kanang like maginahinay gyud ka charge so unlike what we did sa ato ang uh, energy stored pero actually <laughs> visualization ra man po ni siya or kanang simulation so in real life gyud ang atong capacitor will uh, takes time para mo charge siya to a final sa iyang maximum na gina charge na iyang ma store okay so until such th time nga Iyahang potential sa capacitor will be equal to the potential of the source. Okay, so we have to dis disconnect this one to the battery. And then this one, as you can see, na uh energy stored, di ba? So I will put electric field. So energy stored na ng mga kuhan, ka ng electric field. So kung muhikap ka ana, it will discharge on you. So that is why makafil ka electric shock. Okay. So, ayun ang siya kikapa ka ng mga charge ng mga capacitors. Especially, mga fully charged ng capacitor. Okay? So, I have to connect this one to a light bulb. See the, uh, what will happen to the light bulb. So, it will light up. Until such time that all of the electric, uh, all of the charges on the plate will attain equilibrium. Okay? So, ang mahitabo mga good ka mga positive Okay, mo add to siya dad to ni negative. Kato mga negative, mo add to siya dad to until wala na electric field na mo exist between sa plate. So, sa katong giingon sa atong slide, that is actually coming from the, sa ganito, coming from the electrical forces. So, iyahang pang birahon tong mga, uh, i-attract to niya mga negative and at the same time, i-attract po tong mga positive. So, katong electrical forces, uh, will serve as a current kay na may flow of charges diba so mo ni siga atong light bulb okay so sigig sigig ka nang sigig ka nang discharge ato ang capacitor so this that is how our capacitor discharges sigi siya og discharge until such time na ang stored energy will consume by the light bulb and then becomes a heat energy or pwede po siya mahimong light energy then yeah, what will happen is the Q or the charge on the capacitor becomes zero and the potential difference also becomes zero. Okay, that's how you discharge a capacitor. So, kung imo na po siyang i-charge, imo na po siyang i-connect sa battery. Okay, or any source. So, muna siya. Muna nang usually makita na sa mga flash na mga kwan na itong capacitor because, yeah, that's the reason na makita na siya sa flash sa mga phones na to, okay? So, I think we are done with this one. So, let's just move on to capacitors with dielectrics. So, yung capacitors natin here, 
kanisya adiri sa taas are actually kanang mga capacitors nga ayahang sulod is a vacuum. Okay? So, wala siya yung dielectrics good na kuan. But what if magbutang tag dielectrics? So, dielectrics are actually a non-conducting material. So, mga insulator ni sila na na isul isulod sa capacitor. So, nga nung isulod man siya sa capacitor, nga nung isulod man siya between the plates. Okay, nga nung kailangan man jud na to og insulator. So, one of the uh, important, uh, one of the advantages of why we put like a dielectric inside or between the plates is first, it can actually increase the capacitance. Okay? So, mo to siya. Ang second food, of course, dili na ta magsigig sigig, uh, di na ta problem mga ato siyang is separate at distance di, di ba? So, it will just maintain as nga, uh, it will just like a mechanical advantage nga di na ta sigi og kanang separate sa duha ka metal plates. Kaya kung once nga mo separate na siya, then wala kay capacitor, wala yung store, mo yun yung store nga charges, kaya mo attract na, nahawala naman ang kwan, ang umuhang uh, energy. Okay, or the electric field. Okay? So, maunin siya. So, here, so, as you can see here, tanaw na to atong capacitor. So, we have a capacitor without dielectric. So, this is the capacitor nga uh, vacuum na ang sulod. That is without dielectric. And this is the capacitor with dielectric. So, as you can see, if imo siyang i-connect to a voltmeter, so, mas dako ang imuhang voltage across the capacitor nga walay dielectric kaysa capacitor nga naay dielectric. So, the decrease of the voltage of the capacitor with dielectric is decrease siya by a factor of 1 over kappa. So, this kappa is actually the dielectric constant that is greater than 1 that is kappa uh, which is of course very kanang uh, different for any material so kung lahi kung imuhang gisuksok na dielectric sa plates kay rubber lahi po na yung dielectric uh, lahi po yung dielectric constant kung glass lahi po yung dielectric constant di ba? so this dielectric constant has no unit. So, mga dimensionless ni siya nga kung constant lang gini siya. Okay? So, these are actually usually greater than 1. So, if we have this relationship na imuhang delta V is equal to delta V sub not over kappa, then your capacitance will actually increase by a uh, by a factor of kappa. So, yung charges natin with sa charge capacitor na walay dielectrics o naay dielectrics are actually equal lang. So, this will not change lang. So, what change actually is, uh, is the capacitance nga na ay dielectric, ay capacitance of the dielectric at saka yung voltage nga na ay dielectric. So, I will show you. Okay, so let's, uh, here. How about this one? Show na ako sa inyo, ha? So, you can see that uh, we have to dis disconnect the battery first. Okay, so we have a, a charge. So, this is the uh, voltage of the uh, capacitor nga why the elect why the electric now ato siyang insert this will now decreases as you can see it becomes 0 0.3 now what happened to the capacitance at saka plate charge so we have to expect that the plate charge actually does not increases okay kaya wala man siya source of the one put uh, voltage source for put in the first place so there is no way for you to make the plate charge increases. Okay, however, yung capacitance niya at saka yung voltage difference uh, will vary. So, the capacitance increases with respect, but the potential difference uh, decreases. So, that's how you do the capacitors with dielectric. So, balik tadari sa atong kuan. So, yeah, that's the reason why uh, we look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for any given separation, so suppose atong gi-separate atong kapasitor at distance D, 
na atay ginatawag nga dielectric strength. So, dili lang usually nato na always i-apply yun nato ang ato ang uh, dielectric to any voltage, pero naa siya yung murag uh, minimum or maximum voltage na iya lang makaya. Okay? Until such time nga mahimo biya o uh, conducting atong insulator. Okay? Labaw na kung dako kayo siya voltage. Okay? So, naa siya gitawag nga dielectric strength. That is the limit lang na Unsa yung mo apply nga voltage uh, before mahimong conductor ang atong dielectric between the plates. Okay, that is the dielectric strength. So these are actually the different type of the electric strength. So you can see here the di the electric constant of air is 1 approximately 1. Tsaka yung vacuum natin is 1. So that is why if we put 1 here, so basically equal lang siya yung voltage niya at yung 1 dito equal yung capacitance niya. as long as yung yung uh, vacuum ang naasa diri naasa ato ang between the plates okay so yeah uh, look at the ano the air so the air of uh, the electric constant so we have 3 diba so that is 3 uh, volt 3 times 10 to the 6 volt per meter so compare sa other material nga the electric material here mas less siya compare sa other di ba so that is why uh, usually sa air nato kung atong the electric material is air so dali ra siya ma uh, dali ra siya kanang ma-ionize ang pasabot na is ionize mao na makita kag spark so the spark is actually represent that your air na is actually nag-ionize and it will now conduct uh, electricity Okay, or it will now uh, kana allow a flow of charges. So, mo nang naay spark diha. Okay, so this is actually the uh, great, uh, very important na kabalo ka unsa the electric strength sa imuhang uh, dielectric material sa sulod. Okay, so because of this one, usually ang mga capacitor in market are available uh, with kanang a working voltage or the rated voltage so kaning working voltage is actually the uh, maximum voltage lang ni apply na sa capacitor para ang imuhang uh, capacitor kay walay dili siya mag discharge so pasabot lang ang discharge is ang imuhang capacitor will now allow a flow of charges so eventually it will now uh, eventually on that kanang event it will kanang uh, not store charges anymore allowing a flow of charges so nakakay causing a discharge okay so ito usually yung twen ito yung usually na mga uh, capacitor ba? so meron siyang capacitance nga 1.5 microfarad and then yung working voltage na is 25 volts so this is not actually uh, the voltage good na imong i-connect sa capacitor okay so this actually 25 volts and yeah some of the capacitors ha has kanang kuan at uh, this rating because this is very important kasi kay this is again uh, the dielectric strength the maximum voltage that you can apply so if mo exceed ang imuhang voltage imo na siya i-connect say 30 volts so uh, this is very dangerous extremely dangerous so it will uh mubuto ba siya or something like that so uh, usually yung i-apply mo na voltage and yung 25 volts is less than lang sa 25. Okay, mga 9 volts, 12, ano lang. Mora, mora na iyang makaya na mga uh, working voltage. Okay, so these are the advantages of having dielectrics between the plates. So first, it will increase capacitance. So just like what I said, increase niyang capacitance. Okay. The next is it will increase in maximum operating voltage. So, yung pasabot, Anna. So, now, if you connect uh, the capacitor with the electrics in a battery or in any voltage source, so, kay since naman siya uh, the electrics uh, between sa yung plate, so, therefore, may increase good in capacitance. Diba? So, this increase in capacitance is actually equal to the increase in maximum operating voltage. So, in some of the operating voltage, the I. Ha. Okay. 
So operating voltage is actually coming from the fact that we can apply a uh, voltage nga dako. Okay, for example, Okay, so maximum operating voltage, di ba? So, next advantages of dielectrics are actually the mechanical support of plates. So, just like what I said, na yung uh, dilit na ta si Giyog ka ng, ka ng hawid o maghawid ba ta sa ato ang, ato ang, ka ng, ato ang kapasitor para di sila mo, mo, mo attract, di ba? So, mo mag na ato ang mga, ato ang, struggle especially sa mga parallel plate capacitor nga naay kuan naay uh, naay ka ng naay uh, struggle na ato kay katong mga walay the electric because we have to maintain a constant pud nga difference okay so one of the reason po di ay nga nang mo increase yung capacitance because we can actually uh, lower the distance between two plates. So, imong pagam yun ang pagam yun o pagam yun ang imuhang plates without even touching them. Kaya naman kay the electrics between the plates. ba? So, pagam yun imo ang distance niya. So, that is why mo increase po di yung capacitance because of that reason. Okay? So, again, yung first natin na advantage is it will increase capacitance. Second, it will increase the maximum operating voltage. So, meaning that uh, it can handle higher electric fields before breaking down. Okay, makahandle siya og mga higher electric fields. So, even though dako kaya hang operating voltage. The next is the mechanical support. Uh, of plate. So, especially sa maximum operating voltage, if dako siya the electric strength, then maka-withstand yun siya og dako nga uh, operating voltage. ba? So, unlike sa katong without the electric, for example, vacuum lang, so wag ita kablus yung the electric strength, but probably gamay na siya or air lang, ba? Three lang yung the electric strength. So, gamay na iyahang usually makuan nga itong maximum operating nga voltage. Okay? So, unlike sa other na na the electrics. Okay? So, yeah, I think that's capacitors with the electrics. So next one is the atomic description of your uh, capacitors with the electrics. So what will happen to the uh, capacitors if naatay the electrics? Okay.